Kyiv Telefilm Company. So you are the Scully. I was speaking figuratively. Aren't you ashamed of flirting with a married man? I am not flirting with anyone. If you have problems with your man, talk to him, not to me. Oh, really? It's not my husband's fault that women make moves on him. Take off your rosy glasses. To cheat or not to cheat, it's up to men. I don't think you can talk to me this way. I don't think I should talk to you at all. Well, Clara, dream on. Boss. Yes, hello. Okay, I'm coming. Nadia? Dmitro, hi. I was just looking for you. I'm sorry for last night. I was wrong. Forgive me. It's okay. Never mind. Really? Shall we have lunch together? Nadia, I'm sorry. Not today, okay? I have an urgent call. No time for your wife, as always. Okay, never mind. Good luck with your call. Okay, see you at home. Bye. I see. Are you okay? I'm fine. Doesn't look that way. Have you found something on the ghost? No. Clara, about your questions at the archive, my blood type is O negative. I won't give you my PIN code. As for my marriage status... I have already met your wife. You mean today? Yes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. You didn't have to. Besides, I don't care. Really? Really. Okay, tea. It will be ready in a couple minutes. Nadia, why don't you eat something? You're eating for two. I'm not hungry. I lost my appetite after talking to this. Listen, maybe they really are just colleagues. Yeah, sure. You should see her face when she realized Dmitro was married. Colleagues. Dmitro is a handsome man. Women always wound over him. You have to accept it. What matter, sis, that my son is a decent man. I know what I'm talking about. He'd never cheat on you. He was devastated when Anatoly left us for almost a year. All men are alike. When they see a pretty girl, their brain stops working. And I can compete with her while I'm like this. Don't say this. In this situation, your baby is your biggest advantage. Dmitro will never abandon his child. Never. Svetlana, my dear, please talk to him. Make him quit his job. He can work at my dad's firm. The money is better as well as the working hours. He is at work day and night, and all these women around him. And I stay at home as an idiot. It's not fair. Nadia, I'm sorry. Dmitro won't listen to me. Being a police officer is his vocation. It's like if you had to quit ballet. Well, I did have to quit. Why am I the only one suffering? Okay. Whatever. I warn you. If Dmitro leaves me, 
I'll have to leave the city and go to my parents. And don't take it personal, but you won't see your grandson. Nadia, you don't make rash decisions, darling. Easy, easy. Hello? Excuse me, apartment 49? Yes. What happened? Overdose. She doesn't look like a junkie, though. Let's go. Quick. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Hey. This looks familiar. She was found there. Lying here unconscious. Good thing you sent an ambulance. She wouldn't have a chance otherwise. The doctor said she had OD'd. Looks like it, a suicide. There is a note too. Let's see it. True love is like a ghost. Everyone knows about it, but few saw it. Originally, it's a specter, not a ghost. I wonder what he meant. I think he's just taunting us. Have you identified the victim? Yes. Maria Karpova, born in 1998. A masseuse working at home. A masseuse, yeah. This is her work bed and her instruments. You think she's... Yes, I've seen a lot of these masseuses. Shall we? Yeah. Clara, what is it? Don't you have a feeling that we are being watched? Who the hell is this? Come in. I don't get it. Is it from Grigori? Hi. I've got your present. Is this your way to apologize? What present? What are you talking about, Lucy? I didn't send you anything. Why would I? You mean the note isn't from you either? It's not hard to die for love, it's harder to find love to die for. What the hell? How do I know? Okay, bye. Don't call me with such nonsense. Do you have a rival? A rival, my ass. She just wants to make me jealous. Women. Who knows what makes them tick? Prosecutor's office. They are taking their time. They are at the hospital with the victim. What for? She's still unconscious. To find out what she had taken. Vasil, don't you have work to do? Go to your office. Listen, I was going to go to the movies. How do you feel about sci-fi? I hate it. Well? Do you have something? Nothing new. The ghost is an asshole. He poisoned her and left her for dead. Any new ads? Nothing so far. Let's wait till this Maria wakes up. She might have seen the ghost. Someone had to inject her with the drug. What if the ghost gets to her at the hospital? He won't. I placed a guard there. Maybe I should go to her now and wait for her to recover. No need. They won't let you in anyway. 
Are all of you guys so enthusiastic and altruistic to work odd hours? Or is it personal for you? This is nonsense. It's my job, that's all. Right. I said so. Irene, don't move. Freeze. Lift your chin a little. What are you doing here? I didn't invite you. I'm actually working here. I never invited you to my house either, but you keep showing up. What's this? Breakup fee? You don't deserve it, but I feel generous today. So take the money and disappear from the life of my family. As I've told your assistant, I don't need the money. I love Yevgenia, and my love isn't for sale. Man, do you realize who you're messing with? Is this a threat? Nope, just a friendly warning. Anyway, if you don't get lost, you'll have only yourself to blame. Georgi? Who are they? Nobody. Let's wrap it up for today. Listen, baby, wait for me in the bedroom. Come on, come on. Hello, Yevgenia. I'm sorry to disturb you, love, but you see... Come in. May I? Of course, Mom. Has something happened? Yes, something has. Your husband has crossed all possible and impossible lines. He came to Georgi just now and offered him money to dump me. Can you believe it? Tell your husband to leave me alone. Mom, I will tell him just don't get upset. How can I not? Let him take care of his own business. Your business. Let him stay away from my life. Mom, he's worried about you. He? Worried? He's worried that I spend too much money on her or he. You can tell your husband I'm not planning to leave him a single penny. Not a cent. Tell him that. Mom, wait. Alexa is a peculiar man, but I think he has a point. Are you sure about Georgi's feelings? You two are so different. <laughs> Do you have to rub my nose in it? I'm happy about my age. It's the age of love. I... I'm beautiful. I'm rich. I'm experienced. I'm running a big corporation. What's not to love? I should be loved, not those mousy girls. Mom, I didn't mean to offend you, but you have. Hi. You're early today. I'm sick of sitting in the office. Trubitsko went to the crime scene without me. He took Clara instead. Are you jealous? A little. I mean, professionally. You know what hurts the most? She is in fact a criminal, and he treats her as if he knew her all his life. These two are on the same wavelengths. It's so weird. I've been working with him for a year, a year. And he still is formal with me. But with her, it's different. Is it normal? I don't know. Does it matter to you? It's not fair. You know, I'm used to being first in everything. And now I'm an Iran girl. Olesya, it was your choice. You can always change it. I don't want to change anything. At least until we catch the ghost. Then stop complaining. 
Why don't we forget it all for tonight and go to the club to cheer you up? No, no. You can keep me company, dear niece. No. Why not? I'm tired. You'll rest when you've retired. Go freshen up your makeup. No. Get dressed quick. Come on, come on. I'll wait for you upstairs. Roma, you are relentless. I'll wait upstairs. Aunt Elusa, I'm home. Hey. Hey. Do you hear me? Aunt Elusa. Where are you? Not again. Aunt Elusa, when will you stop drinking? Come on. Wakey, wakey. Hey. Aunt Elusa, wake up. Aunt Elusa. Do you hear me? Wait a sec. Hello, I have an emergency. Привет. Hi. Hi. I can't believe it. You are home before me. Why weren't you answering your phone? I didn't know what to think. Welcome to my world. I'm being ignored by you all the time. Nadia, you're exaggerating. I always take your calls if I'm not in a meeting or too busy with work. I know. I saw this work of yours today. I thought you had better taste. Do you mean Clara? Look at you. You figured it out at once. Is it another of your mood swings? No. I'm tired, that's all. <laughs> Is that what you said? What else could I do? I'm sick and tired of this. I told you to stay away from my life. Don't you dare embarrass us and waste the family money. Talk some sense into your mother. This gigolo will take her to the cleaners. Are you all blind? You are the gigolo, warming your way into our family penniless. Yes, I was penniless. But I worked hard all my life, providing for my family, so no need to rub it in. Dad, back off. Don't you all see that I'm trying to save this senile idiot from herself? You're talking about my mother. Apologize now. No, I won't. Because she's a senile idiot who can't see beyond her own nose. And you are an egotist who withdrew from the family business after his father's death and lives high life. Someone has to keep Saber head here. Sort out your own life first. Please, stop fighting. Mother. Alexa. Enough. I'm sick of you all. Mom, Lisa. Lisa, are you okay? Mom, Mom, Lisa. Look through it. Write down, this is an accurate record of my statement, and sign it. What suicide attempt? Are you kidding? She was poisoned. Or she poisoned herself. It's possible. Besides, we have a suicide note. Miss, don't make it harder. I see. You don't want a cold case on your hands. I'm not going to sign this. You realize it will be treated as suicide anyway, don't you? What suicide, Paul? There is a quote in her note. So what? So it's the ghost's M.O. I happen to be a consultant on his case. Do you think it's a random coincidence? You're a consultant? That's funny. I know very well who your aunt is. I know things about you, too. Okay. You asked for it. You don't want to talk to me? Talk to your senior. What? You heard me. Nadia, baby, stop pouting for no reason. Here, have something to eat. You and the baby need sustenance. 
You sound like your mother. Come on. You have no reason to be jealous. You and our baby are the most precious for me. All right. But only for the baby's sake. God, who can it be? Do they know what time it is? It must be work. And so it begins. Clara. Yes, hello? Is it urgent? Okay. Yes, I'm coming. What do you mean you're coming? It's late. Normal people are fast asleep. Nadia, you knew who you were marrying, baby. The ghost has committed another attack. I don't care about your ghost. I care about our family. Dmitro, that's it. You have to choose our son and I or your work. If you come out of this door now, I'll... You will what? You put your job before your family. It's not true, Nadia. Stay then. I can't. It's not just about my duty. This job, it's... A part of me, like Bali for you. You live and breathe it. You can't exist without Bali. I don't mind your lengthy rehearsals, your tours. You knew I work long hours, too, that I can be summoned at night. You didn't mind it before. Why are you so upset now? Because now there is the chick who wants to steal you from me. Yes, Dmitro, she said it herself today. She couldn't have. You don't believe me anymore. Nadia, let's talk about it tomorrow, okay? I need to go. I'm sorry. And I need my husband to be there for me. Hello. Nadia, calm down. Everything will be fine. Yes, it's just work. Of course, I'll talk to him. Go to bed, my dear. Good night. Bye. Looks like your son has gone mad. He went to work at this time. Call him and tell him to go home. Svetlana, don't panic. Firstly, it's not the link. Secondly, Dmitro is a detective. It's his job. I understand him. Thirdly, you call him if you want to. Come on. What kind of dad are you? What if they do get a divorce? Why would they get a divorce? Looks like Mitro is seeing someone from work. No, he isn't. I would know. Are you sure? Absolutely. They are big kids. They'll sort it out. Go to bed. I'll come up when I've finished the game. Well, fine. Well, where is your so-called colleague? Did you invent him to make me stay longer? You could just say it. How dare you? Don't play hard to get. I know how Lucy's girls make their living. Or are you trying to raise the price? Aren't you afraid I'll report to you? Who will believe you? I will. Who the hell are you? Dmitro Trubitskoy, Investigations Department. What is going on? Someone sent my aunt posing chocolates, a note with a quote, and he's trying to treat it as a suicide, and doesn't believe that I'm consulting you. Why didn't you show him your ID? It says Investigations Department Consultant. Shit, I keep forgetting I have it. I'm a cop! Sorry for interrupting, but it's late. What do you want me to do? Go home. I have talked to the tops. I'm taking over the case. Okay. Good luck with your hopeless case. Can you find the way out? Sorry for not walking you out. What a horrible man. How did he become a cop? 
There are people like him everywhere. How is your aunt? Not good, but she will live. What if the poison chocolates were meant for me, not her? I am sorry it happened. Not as sorry as I am. I know it's my fault for giving this interview and exposing myself. I'm always like this. I first act and then think, what the hell did I do it? Nadia said you talked to her. Nadia? Oh, this, this wife of yours. She's a such a chatterbox. What did you tell her? Me? Nothing. Should I have? <laughs> no. Okay, let's go. Have they dusted it for prints? Yes, they have. Have they canvassed the neighborhood? No, I don't think so. Ella, my neighbor, should be back from work only now. Great, let's start with her. Okay. Baby, go to sleep. You have to race early. The doctor says I'll be okay. Mom, I was so scared. I can't imagine my life without you and Dad. My dear girl. I saw him out. He left a list of tests you need to get done. We'll go tomorrow. Alexa, relax. I don't need any tests. All I need is you and Mom to stop fighting. Then everything will be fine. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Mom. Get well soon. Good night, Dad. Yes. Sweet dreams, baby. She is my joy. Mine, too. How are you? Better. Alexa, I'm begging you. Stop fighting with Mama. Then everything will be fine. I'm doing it for her. Alexa, don't. Mom is a big girl. She can handle okay, it. Okay, okay. If that's what you want, darling, I'll do whatever you say to make you happy. Nothing else matters. You and our daughter are my only weak spot. I can handle anything. But if someone hurts you, I will break apart. God, Roman, you startled me. What are you doing here? I thought you were the ghost. Alessia, congratulations. You have worked yourself into madness. This isn't normal. You see the ghost everywhere, even at home. You didn't answer me. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm waiting for you. What's wrong? How's Lisa? Okay, Dad is with her. You know, for a moment I thought I could lose Mom. I was so scared. Relax. Everything is fine. It is so scary losing people you love. I wonder how it feels when you have no one. And nobody will help you if something happens. Nobody. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Detective, as I said, I didn't see or hear anything. I just came home from work. My kids were at home. I mean, my oldest, Denis. I don't think he saw anything. He has cerebral palsy and doesn't move around much. I see. And your youngest? Jacques? He was at a friend's. He barely lives here. Teenagers, you know. We bore him. His friends are his family. He's just like his dad. He loved hanging out with friends, too, until they stabbed him to death. Just one more question. Do you think Lucia had enemies? <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. 
Just say it, or I'll say it. In a word, our apartment used to be a criminal den. Aunt Elusa had been a madame all her life until two years ago when she was diagnosed. Imagine how many enemies she has. The girls, the clients, the competition, their betrayed wives. Besides, she has an awful attitude and has no friends in this building. Many people would like to poison her. That's true. Well, in this case, we should ask Lucia who wanted to kill her. You can ask, but she might name me to get back on me. Lucia might very well do that. Have it in mind. Lying, setting people up, that's right up her alley. Your aunt seems quite a character. The cheese, Metro. Why would we need to talk to her? It's obvious it was the ghost. No, it's not. We can't rule out revenge as a motive. These cases can bring surprises. What surprises? Does anyone but us know about the notes? Excuse me? Do you have more questions to me? No, thank you for your help. Thanks, Ella. Well, we've questioned everyone. See you tomorrow. See you then. Don't be late to work. I'll try. Dimitro. Uh, thank you. I mean, really, not many people ever help me. I appreciate it. Good night. Good night. He's a great guy, a keeper. If you don't want him, I do. It won't work. He's married. And they're... expecting. So what? Divorce, child support? No, it isn't me. I've done many wrong things. Ruining a family will not be one of them. No. It wouldn't work anyway. You are wrong. He likes you. Why do you say that? Clara, use your brain. He abandons his wife and runs to you in the middle of the night to be with you. He could just send someone or even ignore your call or say he'd meet you tomorrow. But no. Did you think about it? No. I didn't think about that. No, you know how I feel about married guys. I'm not drinking. I have seen enough of them here coming to Aunt Lucia. Anyway, if a man has strayed once, he will stray again, again, and again. Women who think they can steal someone's husband and he'll stay true to them, they are fools. He will dump them anyway just a couple years later. Do I need it? I don't know. Someone in your place would think less and do more. Catch this rare specimen and never let him go. Clarita, open your eyes. He is your ticket to happy life without Lucia with her horse and drunks. Without your godfather you work with while hating it all. Once in a blue moon you liked a guy. Looks like it's mutual. Listen to my advice. I would think a hundred, a million times before giving up on him. I, for one, would steal him without clipping an eye. Ella, I'm sorry, but I'm exhausted. It was a long day. Got it. I'm on my last legs, too. Okay. Go to bed, have some rest, I'll go. Listen, are you okay to sleep here alone after this ghost visit? Sure. You know, I don't get scared easily. Okay, then. But you can always stay at our place. The more, the merrier. No, thanks. Well, good night. Let your handsome detective come to you in your dreams. Good night, fairy godmother. <laughs> Tell the boys I said hi.
Come in. Good morning. I'm not sure how good it is. I... don't want to waste your precious time. I'll get straight to the point. I'm sorry for the last night. Where is the catch? There is none. Lisa's heart isn't that strong. I don't want to risk my wife's health, so I decided not to provoke any more scandals between you and me. Good for you. You do realize scandals are imminent if you don't stop interfering with my life. I will stop. I arrest my case. I just wanted to open your eyes to this swindler, but now I see that if a person doesn't want to see or hear, they will see and hear nothing. I'm not sure you'll leave him alone. As you said, it's about all the family money. <laughs> Firstly, I was thinking of you and not of myself. You are the mother of the woman I love. Like it or not, if something happened to you, it would upset Lisa, which is exactly what I want to avoid. As for the money, I don't need yours. I'm not poor. So, in any case, I will not talk about your Georgi again. Goodbye. Well... Good morning. Nadia, you shouldn't drink so much coffee. It's bad for the baby. What's bad for the baby? Is when his father spends night God knows where with God knows whom. I was at work. Is your work called Clara, by any chance? Yes, sorry. I snooped in your phone and I saw that your last incoming call was from her. Her aunt was poisoned by the ghost last night. So yes, I was at her place. Talking to potential witnesses. Any more questions? If not, I have some for you. Since when are you checking my phone? Since you've been unfaithful, cheating on me, and lying to me. Nadia, do you even hear yourself? What's going on? You don't sound like yourself. Where's the level-headed, calm, confident girl I married? You've never been jealous before. Because you didn't give me a reason to. That calm and confident girl had everything. I had a great career. I was a prima ballerina. I, I used to tour Europe. I was a star. And now what? What do I have now, Dmitro? I tour the same route every day. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, enter room. No, I'm sorry, sometimes I also go to the nearest store to buy groceries. That's all. Dmitro, I'm going crazy locked up here. I want my old life back. I want to be back on the stage. I want to shine. I want to be free again. I'm tired of all this, this morning sickness, the swelling. I don't understand it. You were the one who wanted to start a family. Why am I the one making sacrifices while you happily spend all your time at work? I'm all alone here, with no one to talk to. Are you sure you aren't confused? You were the one who wanted a baby. 
Seriously? So now you don't even want the baby? Stop twisting up my words. I never said that. I'm happy that we're going to have a baby. But I don't know how to fix our relationship. Lately I feel as if I live with a stranger. You've never behaved like this before. You don't know? So let me help you. Quit your job. Join your father's security agency. Great hours, good salary, no women trying to steal you from me. I don't see what the problem is. Okay, Dmitro. What is it going to be? You need to choose me and the baby or your job. Because I can't take it anymore. Anatoly, maybe you could talk to Dmitro before it comes to a divorce. Nadia is so nervy. What will happen next? She wants Dmitro to quit his job. Why can't he appease his pregnant wife? After all, it's the matter of priorities. Anatoly, say something. I told you. I wasn't going to interfere into my son's life. Neither should you. He and Nadia will blame us for all the mess they will make. What mess are you talking about? What if this girl really breaks them apart? Nadia says she's quite a character. What shall we do then? Nadia threatens to take our grandson to her parents. We will never see him. Do you realize it? Your grandson will grow up without you in his life. You will never see him. No. I can't let it happen. We need to do something. We don't need to do anything. Apart from living our lives, Svetlana, no one asked you to interfere. No, someone did ask me to interfere. She did. Anatoly, let's not beat around the bushes. We aren't in our 20s. It's time to prioritize our children and grandchildren. How can you be so selfish? Why don't we go to the cemetery today? Cemetery? Why? You said our lives were over. Let's shop for a good plot and nice coffins. Why not? We could put them in the closet at the cabin. Let them wait for us. Do you prefer plain wood or classic red velvet trimming? Mocking me. I see. I meant what I said. And I mean it when I say to stay away from their life. They can deal with it themselves. Our son is not a womanizer anyway. Right. He isn't like you. What do you mean? Not like me. Don't treat me like a fool. You think I don't know about Olga Zharinova? You'd come to her running if she only gave you a sign. Your wife, your son... Can you at least leave the dead ones alone? She may be dead to you, but for me, she's still standing between us. I couldn't believe you. When you went on a binge a year after her death, ruined your career and lost everything, including your family. And what for? Thank you. I'm full. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I brought your things. And you think it's enough to make it up to me? Make up for what? She doesn't know. Don't pretend you don't know. It's all your fault. Why is life so unfair? 
You read them out, and they poisoned me. The chocolates were for you. If they were for me, why did you eat them? If you didn't, I would. I would get poisoned, and you would be happy. You mean you grudge me the chocolates? So that's how we are now. I raised you, I fed you, I gave you education, and you grudge me a slice of bread. Let's keep this old song. Raised me, fed me. Ungrateful bitch. That's it. I'll come back later tonight, okay? Bring me cigarettes. Do something useful. Yeah, right. You shouldn't treat your daughter like this, if she leaves you. She has nowhere to go. She won't. She isn't my daughter either. Bitch. She could have brought warmer socks. Nadia, there exists as a dressing room. Nadia, hi! I have great news for you. You won't believe it. Did they take back my rolls from Petrova? Better. The Paris sitter is coming here on tour. The one where we performed. Remember the party they gave us after your triumph? You couldn't have forgotten. That handsome guy with green eyes, Dean or was it Jack? You were talking to him all night, remember? So what? What does it have to do with me? Nadia, the manager wants you to accompany the French group. You're the only one who speaks French. Nadia, you need to meet them at the airport, take them to the hotel. The manager will give you a car and a driver. No, wait, I can't meet them. Why? Because I'm pregnant, I don't feel well. Hi. Talk to the manager, let him find someone else. Someone else? Nadia, no one else here can speak French. The theater doesn't have budget for an interpreter. It just, just a few days. You just need to talk to them. Lada, you don't understand. I can't meet with that French guy. It's impossible. I'm not going to the airport. Please talk to the manager. Let him find someone else. He will listen to you. Why would he? I'm only a custom designer. Lada, please. Everyone knows you are his niece. Do me a favor as a friend. You're my best friend. Talk to him about a replacement. Nadia, I'm sorry, but I can't interfere without a good reason. You know how our manager can be. I know, but I do have a good reason. What reason? This Jean. He can see me like this with this bump. But why? What would he care? He would. Listen. This Jean. He raped me. You understand? If he sees me pregnant, he'll do the math. Do you see what can happen? I don't want to even think about it. Wait, you mean the baby isn't... Oh. Nadia? How far back do we want to go? Let's go 15, 20 years back, even though I don't think we'll find something there. Okay. What are we looking for? Same old, same old. Cases ruled as suicide with a twist. The absence of real motive. Ideally, I want to find victim zero. The one that started all this. Then we would untangle this knot. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. I had an argument with my aunt at the hospital. That's good. What's good about it? She must be getting better. <laughs> right. Makes sense. Are you sure she didn't see anything suspicious? I don't know, Mitro. She wouldn't talk to me. I can't believe she ate the chocolates coming from God knows where. I'll help. I'll help. Do you want to take the older or the newer ones? I don't care. Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies, I won't distract you. Zharano. Investigator Mikola Zharinov. Sounds familiar. I don't remember where I heard his name. He was a detective in 
charge of the case. Mikola? How do you know? He was rather famous. A good guy, too. It's a shame he was killed. What do you mean killed? They shot the entire family. His wife, two kids. Then they burned the house to cover it up. He crossed someone's path. Excuse me. What's wrong with her? I don't know. 